So we've uh, just made it into South Australia this afternoon, about an hour or two ago. Um, big day of driving. We went and did the Valley of the Winds walk at the Olgas this morning and left straight from there to head to South Australia. Um, still haven't got my pass, my border pass. We've been rejected, well I've been rejected, I haven't counted, but it would be over 10 times easy. Um, been approved twice and rejected the rest of the times. Jess has got approved. Um, when was it last night, babe? No, you got approved. Oh, yesterday morning. Oh, yeah, Jess got approved yesterday morning. Um, and I got mine rejected twice last night. Um, it came through rejected. They wanted um, more info. They wanted, like, utility bills and shit with my address on it. Um, and proof of where we were going to be staying overnight, which I'd already sent them anyway. Um... And so I applied again straight away with all the extra stuff that they asked for. And I uh, got rejected again straight away. And the copper rang me and he goes, he, go, he says to me, are you reading these emails we're sending you that your thing's been rejected? I said, yeah. And he goes, well, why aren't you adding all the stuff that we're asking? And I said, I have been. I said, I've added all this stuff every time you ask me. I've done everything you asked me to do. And every time you reject me, he goes, well, nothing's coming through. He said, the only thing that we've got is your uh, license. He said, all the other stuff that you've um, sent through has um, not come through. I said, well, it's, it's been attached on my end. So anyway, he said, all right, what we'll do then is um, just go to the border. And when you get there, I'll put a little note on your thing. When you get there, you can just produce all the uh, evidence to the people at the border. So... We're heading to the border and we're in South Australia, so we're not far away from home. Three or four days, uh, what's the date today? The 11th? Yes. So, yeah, we should be home in about four days. But just driving down the road and just noticed this the snorkel has detached from the car. So, I might actually unbolt this little bracket because it's got a rivet sticking out of it there. I don't know if you'll see that. And that's going to keep rubbing on the car and damage it probably. Well, you know, scratches and shit, nothing major, but if I take that off, it'll prevent that. But um, I've got to say, it's been very stressful. All these border pass rejections and that just trying to get home and getting rejected and they want ridiculous sort of information um, and it has been mega stressful all the uh, things going wrong with the car um, I suppose the most major one was the petrol pump um, but even the, the small things like the loose battery terminal it's all um, like very draining it's uh and we're just tired and we just want to go home now um how do you feel jess what, what do you reckon well it didn't help that we did three big massive walks in three days we did the king's canyon which we did four hours of and then the next day we did um Uluru, and then today we did the olgas which was uphill so we've been sleeping in a lot because we're just knackered. We don't know if it's the walks or if it's the actual like just the stress of trying to get home and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Well, for me, it's um, I think it's just a combination of everything. Um, problems with the car, problems trying to get passes and that. It's all just very draining and it's wearing me out and now we're just gonna get home as quick as we can we're gonna do four big days of driving um minimum eight hours a day probably more and uh yeah just wanna get home so we'll be home soon it's about quarter to seven what 
I'm doing a video. Okay? Yeah, go. Okay. It's about quarter to seven. I've been up for about 15 minutes. Can't even see me yet because the sun hasn't uh, arrived properly. We are just two hours or three hours out of Cooper PD. Made it to South Australia. And I think we've got about eight hours of driving. Um, trying to get as close to Seduna as possible. So hence the uh, early start. little fella. How you going mate? You alright? You're not going to talk to us? No mate. Say something. Say something. Come on. Hey. You're a little cute fella aren't you? You better get off the road, all right? Come on, off the road. Off the road, come on. Come on, off the road. Hey, tss, tss. come on, get off the road. You want me to pick you up? Oh, I'm only gonna take you off the road, okay? So don't panic. Come on. I'll take you right into the bush. Little kangaroo hopping tracks. All right, mate, I'm just going to put you down here and now you can go along on your merry way. All right, see you later, bud. Hey, mate, what is wrong with you fellas? You're always sitting on the road. I've seen about a dozen of you blokes on the road so far. What's to go with that? Hey? You gonna get off the road or what? You want me to take you off the road? I'll get you. I'll get you off the road. Uh uh uh. No bites. Hey, stop it. Okay, I got you now. I'll take you off the road, okay? Now listen. Be road smart and stay off the bloody road. That way you won't get splattered. Now, off, go, go play with your friends. See ya. So we uh, have booked into a caravan park in Sejuna. Did a solid nine and a half hour drive today, which is, uh, quite tiring but um, we pushed through and oh, we took a shortcut with about three or four hundred kilometers of dirt road but uh, luckily for us about 90 percent of it had recently been graded so we just flew along there um, cut about four hours off the trip so that was good um, had a little bit of our first little bit of rain since being up in the Cape apart from a um, little stint in Melbourne. Good to see some green pastures, haven't seen that for a while. And, uh, you want to say anything bad? Uh, it was definitely very hard for me having to sit in the car, just watch Daryl have to drive. It was, it was very exhausting. Oh, that's enough of her bullshit. <laughs> <coughs> so um <laughs> so yeah so we booked in a caravan park in Sejuna we stayed here on the way up actually on, on when we first left our trip on our trip and, and it um, just opened and everything was brand new the kitchen and the showers and they still look really nice so that was everything's good. still brand new I finally awesome. got to wash my hair 
finished? Are you finished? Yep. <laughs> oh, so I'm talking now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, tomorrow we're heading to Eucla. Or just before Eucla. Eucla is actually over the border. Um, so, we're going to head to Border Town or whatever it's called down there. Stay there the night and then um, head to the border the day after. I still haven't got my pass. Jess has got hers. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've spoken to the copper and I've had trouble with my That's application. That's because I cried so. to them over email. Yeah, yeah. I made them feel bad Sick. for making me not get home. Can I talk now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you talk. Um, Daryl didn't get his pass because he's been sending really rude emails to them where I just told them that I was having panic attacks over not being able to come home. So... So anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, I've spoken to a copper, and apparently all my documents and that weren't up, up, weren't uploading on the application. Um, so I'm just going to show all my documents at the border, and hopefully get through. So we'll see what happens. Is it saying anything? Oh, Leave them so out. many, so many. Um, <laughs> are you going to turn it off? Yeah. Um, I'm hungry, so...